right now I'll be walking you through the setup process for video sound in its present state you can't use it for a service because Bibles are not there the song lyrics are not there there's nothing in place presently this is just a fresh installation of video sound so we're gonna begin setting it up and the first thing I want to show you before we do anything is a little bit of personalization so you can get to set it up the way you want like you may have seen earlier on it's possible to adjust these panels according to your liking so you can focus better on whatever it is you want to focus on if you are going to focus on the workspace right here you could just adjust the size of these panels and focus right there and it also depends on the size of your screen so that's that for uh, the panels another uh, tip I'm going to show you in the way of personalization is under the edit tab here and these are the themes available in video so I'm just going to click down here to expand the menu and you see there's a whole range of themes available in video sound maybe you want a Christmas theme I could just select Christmas and we have a different look to it but personally one of the themes I prefer using is the 2016 black let's see how that goes yeah it's a lot easier on the eyes so you could also work with that but I'm just gonna stay with the first one here the default theme and we'll keep going so that's that for personalization the next thing we're going to do now is import Bibles now notice right here in the panel there is nothing here it shows here there's no songbook click here to start the songbook import assistant or create a new songbook and add your own songs from the edit tab under the Bibles also there is no Bible click here to start the import assistant and all that and so on and so forth so like I said the first thing we want to do is uh, import Bibles now I'll show you the songbooks but there's a reason why uh, we have to import Bibles first. It's a lot easier to go through. So we could, there's two ways to import Bibles. You can either click here, and this is for only when you there are no Bibles and the, the list is empty. You can just click here, and it will open up the import assistant. Then you have the list of Bibles in various languages and different versions. You could also click on the search bar and search specifically for the Bible you want. That's one way to do it. But another way to do it, for when you already have Bibles listed here and you just want to add an extra Bible, you can't click here anymore because there are Bibles at present there. So the other way to do it is by simply going to the edit panel, the edit tab up here and select import. Now it says welcome to the import, this is the import assistant. Welcome to songbook, welcome to the songbooks, Bibles, images and videos import assistant. So already it tells you, you can, with this import assistant, you can import a whole range of media. So I'll click next and say import a Bible. I'll click next again. Now it gives us two options to either open to either in, import uh, Bibles from the video sum uh, library on the internet or you import Bibles from your hard drive. That's if you already have the Bible files themselves lying somewhere on your hard drive. So you can just import them locally and it doesn't take any internet connection or anything. But at this point, I don't have any of the Bibles and I assume you also don't have any of the Bibles available on your hard drive. So, I'm going to select the first option and click next. Now, remember this, this uh, page. It was the same thing we saw when we clicked here. So, this time we're going to search for Bibles. And in this place, I'm going to specifically install three main Bibles. The Amplified Version, the King James Version, and the message translation all english bibles as you can see there are various languages available as well africans albanian different languages a whole range there's so many bibles available here so if you're working in a church maybe there's a is a multilingual congregation you could also install the bible for whatever language they speak and make it available but for now we are importing these three English versions. So I'm just going to type instead of just uh, instead of scrolling continuously, I'm just going to type English. 
and it takes me here now i could also type the names of the specific bibles i want the king james and whatever but i'm just going to scroll through i like the amplified bible i want that and then i'll also scroll down and select the new king james so i'm going to end new king james version there and then the message the message the message right there the message so we have these three bibles selected and then i'll click next and here it says this this is summary before import import three bibles from the video sound online library the amplified the new king james and the message so i'll go ahead and say yeah import and simply wait for it to import um, it, the speed of this uh, import, the import process, it depends on the speed of your internet connection. Because right now, what's going on is it's downloading the Bibles and also keeping them in the correct folders where video Sam can easily access them. So, right now we are done with the import, and it says import completed. And you can also see video Sam comes alive. Under our Bibles panel, we already have the three main bibles here the amplified the new king james and the message they are abbreviated you could also extend this panel for when you have extra bibles available so this is what we have right now so i'm not going to push so much now you notice it's divided into two two parts the old testament and the new testament and these are the list of chapters in the old testament i could select the new testament and also there's a list of books yeah sorry books not chapters this is, this is where you find the books this is where you find the, the chapters the chapter numbers and then the verse numbers for each chapter so it's all available right there for you and here's something else when you click here genesis chapter 1 verse 1 whatever it is you click on in this panel automatically gets sent to the slide panel although it's not yet ready it's not yet uh, showing up on the screen but it shows you hey i'm ready to make these things available so all you need to do is just click on it on the verse and it shows up in the preview panel now the only reason why it won't show up on your screen or the projector out there is because we don't have the present button active so that's that we'll be looking further on we'll be looking further into working with bibles as time goes on the next thing i'm going to be showing you is how to import songs so we'll switch to the songbook panel and simply click here just the same way we did with the bible just click here and it knows okay you want to import songs so you could either click there or you come over to edit import welcome to the songbooks assistant next import a songbook next then you could either click it from uh, get it from the internet or get it from your hard drive now if you already have a couple of songs that are saved to your hard drive then you could you can easily come over here and click next and select this song now here's a beautiful feature of video sound you have access to song formats song book formats in from other uh presentation softwares like easy worship uh open lp presenter open song now some of these ones i have tried in the past but for the larger majority of them I haven't gone through but you can see the list of them out here media shout these are popular uh, presentation softwares so in case you are switching from there to video sound yeah video sound supports whatever song so you don't get to lose them all because you switch to video sound so you could easily select any of these ones and then search for for it there or you you could just go to the video sound online library and download whatever list of songs they have of course we're going for english songs and you can just download any of them presently personally i don't want to fill up my song list song list with uh songs that i'm not really going to be using so i'm just going to stop it here and show you okay this is where you can download them if you want but i'm not going to do that instead i'll be showing you later on how to create your own songs and songbooks